Hi, this is Dr. P. Uh, we did this lab uh, sugar content in beverages last week. I want to help you help out with uh, with uh, the data analysis and uh, uh, the lab report writing. Uh, first, let's take the calibration curve. Uh, the calibration curve most of you already um, did in the class uh, using the data given in the second page in the handout percent sugar and density at 20 degrees for reference solutions so this data is given to us so that we can come up with a calibration curve uh, so when you do a graph make sure that the scale is spreaded out so that the graph takes up the whole page now what I would do is first of all you have to use the rulers okay I'm not I don't have a ruler here so I'm going to see you have to have the two axes use a ruler and um, now how I would uh, choose the scale I look at the data given to us so we know that the y-axis uh, takes the density it's uh, noted in the uh, handout but maybe some of you have done um, percent sugar in the y-axis and density in the x-axis that's okay that's okay uh, now if you take the density values it goes from 1.002 to 1.081 so you ha your uh, highest value here has to be 1.081 and then um, the the lowest value now uh, if, if you start with 0 0.000 you can give a break here and uh, start with point 1.000 because I know some of you got uh, density some density is 0 0.9 less than 1 so it's uh, uh, good that you have some some area here to read your density so you get your lowest point and the highest point and get the uh, halfway mark so your halfway mark here will be 1.040 because if you take it as 1 to 80 here and the 1 fourth is here so that will be 1.020 and the 3 fourths is 1.060 right okay so that's how I make my scale uh, so that density and you have to put uh, the unit grams per milliliter and then uh, the x-axis is percent sugar um, now percent is the unit in, in x-axis so percent sugar is going from if you look at the handout 1% to 20% so I would start with 0% here and the uh, the other, other end has to be 20% and the halfway mark is 10 and uh, quarter is 5 and the 3 fourths is 15 so don't crowd the axis as having more points here so that's a good scale and then you uh, plot the graph uh, one percent let's say somewhere here one percent is 1.002 so 1.002 must be somewhere close to here so you have your first point here and then five percent is 1.08 1.018 so this is your 5 percent always use a ruler put your ruler here your 18 has to be somewhere close to here so that is your second point so like this you uh, plot your points and 10 percent is 1.038 so that is your 10 percent and 1.038 is somewhere close to here now in your graph paper you can read it better than mine so I showed you in the class with the graph paper so that's your third point and 15 percent is 1.059 that's your 15 and 1.059 is close to this so your third uh, one two three uh, fourth point is somewhere here uh, so like this you get your points 20 percent is 1.81 so last one is coming right here and then do not connect the dots 
you keep a ruler and have the line of best fit line of best fit means you keep the ruler on the uh, points and uh, try to get many points as possible on the ruler on the line right so you draw it it's you have to do it with a ruler uh, so let's see assume that this is a ruler so um, that's your graph the calibration curve you have to give a title your title can be uh, calibration curve for percent sugar uh, versus density of reference solutions these are reference solutions you can come up with uh, with your own uh, title appropriate title so that is your calibration curve okay i'll have another video how to do uh, the other analysis part all right then see you uh, next week